this is Robert Mopper coming to you from the Center for Aesthetic Excellence in Chicago, Illinois. Today I'm going to show you a must-have product from Cosmodent called Creative Color Pinko Pink. Most of the doctors today in their office who want to block out dark gray, dark brown, and metal, to porcelain fused and metal repairs for example, have a tendency to work, reach for the white opaque, which has a tendency to get them into a lot of trouble. Today we're going to show you the value of Pink Opaque and how it neutralizes the dark gray, dark brown, and metal to help you get a more lifelike and natural restoration. Today in this exercise, we're going to show you the value of pink opaque over white opaque. Not just by talking about it, but visually showing you how each one works and what it does for you in your office. We're going to first start by putting our material on our resin keeper, which is a nice light, light sealed box that keeps the material from setting as you work. You can see we're placing the white opaque first. And then we're going to, go ahead and we're going to place the pink opaque right next to it. Next, we're going to take our shea guide formers. We have three shea guide formers that are all C4 based. And we're going to use two of those and hold one out as our control. And we're going to take our white opaque first. After you etch and bond the tooth, you're going to take your white opaque, or what most doctors do is they take the white opaque, and they put a thin coat of opaque to neutralize that gray, dark brown, or metal. If you notice, you can see the flatness or the brightness of this opaque. To come back from this color is very difficult because once you put your composite over the top it has a tendency to be either too bright or white and brown can bring the value down of your restoration. So we'll go ahead and we'll polymerize this for 10 seconds. Next we're going to apply the creative color pink opaque. And you can see you want to put that on in a nice even coat. Thinner be the better to start. And you can see this thin coat that I'm talking about just lightly starts to change the color of that tooth without bringing the value up too much. It keeps it warm. Then we go ahead and we polymerize this for 10 seconds. And then add another coat to that surface just to try and neutralize that color. And if you notice when I use this, I'm not over opaquing with the pink opaque. I'm just using it to neutralize and keep that value, the gray value, down, but keep the value of the tooth up when I put the next material over the top. And we'll cure this for 10 seconds, and then we'll show you the difference between the white opaque and the pink opaque. If you notice on the far left, we started with our C4 shade tab. Then on the middle, we placed our pink opaque, and then on the right, we placed our white opaque. As you can tell between the pink opaque and the white opaque, the pink opaque has a tendency to be more warmer. It absorbs more of the underlying color. And by being warmer, when you overlay with your opaque, your composite, let's say it's an A1 composite, that will allow the A1 composite to look more natural and lifelike. So when you put your next composite over the top, it keeps the value up. On the far right, when you look at the white, you can tell just from the beginning that it looks a little more flat, a little bit more intense, and a little bit more opacious. So when I put my layer of composite over the top, like an A1, I'm going to see that to come out sometimes a little bit brighter. Also, in some cases, you can see the value decrease because white plus brown give you a little bit more of a grayer value. So we can conclude from this exercise that pink gives you more natural, lifelike restoration, all by keeping the value up and by giving you a more warmer-looking restoration.